and listening to music like when a song comes on I remember or it gives you gives you like a nostalgic memory I suppose and and it makes you think of like it's like a board too actually when you like go and look at all your old boards and a surf comes to your mind on it um, that a good surf you had on it so I suppose it's like that
funny, like, people are like, get real, real weird about aging and shit, but I actually think, like, aging's fucking cool because you evolve, you know? I think there's, like, there's so many people that I actually reckon are, like, cooler old than they were young because they've just, they've just grown so much of a, as a person, like, like Tom Carroll, like, he's evolved so much and he's an absolutely amazing person now and he's been like a huge part of my um career as, as i suppose um and yeah he's been a huge part of that um you know he was like sort of the first like pro i went surfing with and shit so it was pretty pretty cool to have him um have a few ways of his in this um in this clip to a lot of like Nick Drake and Elliot Smith and like just different shit um, so yeah I just wanted like a mix of songs really slow you know cruisy sort of stuff and then fast pace
kind of memories that stick out from surfing with like all them doozies that influence you kind of any like things that really stick with you that pretty like mesmerizing that's kind of stuck with you that uh, you always think about yeah i saw craig do a cut back once a cut back that any surfer any surfer could do it was just a cut back but it was the most beautiful cut back i've ever seen because it was like just so effortless and smooth and i'll always remember that super clearly and like that's the same with craig too you know he um he's obviously been like a huge huge part in my career and I'll, I'll forever be thankful for not like only his friendship but what he what he did for me but like obviously I'm trying to make a thing for myself like everyone would have been when they were um, 18 and sometimes like you've just got to do what you have to to as sad as it is you know Sometimes you've just got to do what you have to, to like do what you love. And that's sort of how that went, but. This one or that one? I'm really nervous. I'm actually about to meet Adelita, someone that I've looked up to and admired since I was very young. She's played with everyone from Sonic Youth, Ron S. Howard, Dinosaur Jr. Hey, lovely to meet you finally. Me too. Hello. Welcome. I'm already like there. Yeah, right. Coffee makes me go. I can't get going without it. Really? Yeah. yeah. I had coffee once and I felt like I was just speeding off my dog. <laughs> but it's a good place. There's so many great cafes. Yeah. It's, yeah. it's pretty cool here, hey. Yeah. I haven't like done much exploring here. This is my yeah. first time actually. In Melbourne? Yeah, yeah, oh, no. yeah, oh, I know, no. yeah. Where were you surfing? What, what's it called, the area? Winky Pop. Yeah, yeah Winky Jandruck. Pop, but what? Jandruck. Yeah. yeah, the water's freezing down here. Oh, it's ridiculous. Yeah, I had to um, come in, because like, I couldn't really? feel my feet, yeah, really? yeah. Did you have booties on? I had booties on, oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so did, did you surf at all, when you grew up? Yeah. What happened? No, not when I grew up, when I went out to the surf. Oh, okay, yeah. So, through osmosis, I was like, I have to learn how to surf. Yeah. Um, thank you. My little decaf, I'm embarrassed. I love that I'm a woman and I can, other girls will look up to me. Yeah. Women look up to me, and even guys look up to me. Yeah, like, for sure. Bloody oath. To learn guitar, because if I can do it, yeah. anyone else can yeah. do it. Yeah. You know? Yeah, that's unreal. Yeah. Like, I get on stage or you get on a wave. It transforms you, it's a different space and yeah. it's magical. Yeah. You know, it's this magical space and something yeah. happens. Yeah. You know, I just don't give a rat. Yeah. <laughs> I don't give a rat. Yeah, I don't know what song to use yet. Like I was thinking of like that jewel thief. Yeah. Or um pace it maybe, I don't really? know. Yeah. I oh, say so you know the magic bird stuff. Yeah, yeah. Can everything be like before when it overcomes me? Can everything be like before when it overcomes me? Can't see it, can't feel it, can't steal it, can't keep it. Can everything be like before when it overcomes me?
you're so hungry after like a long surf. But then when you just fucking like shove on it, you, you lose um, track of like how full you are. You're not stopping. Yeah, it's like since I was like about 10 or 11. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, yeah, I remember when I was about like 12. Yeah. Um, I put up a post about you um, falling to sleep to hot air, and I remember yeah. you commenting, and I remember like losing my shit <laughs> on it. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, that's so cute! <laughs> I was like, it's just adorable. Yeah. Like, yeah. I think that's just that's just bullies because they think they can get away with it because they can hide behind their keyboards, you know. Whether it's someone that's picking on you because they think they're bigger than you. Like, I don't know, I, I copped a, a bit of shit a few weeks back. I don't know if I told you about it. I was surfing this wave around home and this guy was like, calling me a poofta and like, stuff. And to me, like, fuck, I thought it was pretty rad being called a poofta because to be honest, I think, um, like homosexuals are way braver than any of those fucking macho assholes that have to prove how tough they are and it's funny that like they're also anti-gay oh you're a poofta you're a pussy and all that yeah they're the ones that are like slapping each other's asses and getting their dicks out in front of each other and hanging with the boys 24 7 yet pissing in their mouth yeah <laughs> yet they're so fucking anti-homosexual you know so like being called a poofta is fucking pretty cool because um i like surfing with my mate Sax that you know because he's just fucking always like fucking stoked and always just keen to surf and it's like he's fucking stoked when you do something good unlike some people that seem to be like they have to be the man and like that's not really what I am about trying to be the best or anything because I'm never going to be the fucking best
Were you a dogs or cats guy? Do you remember you asked me this in Bali? I don't know. Do you remember that? And I said, oh, mate, dogs for sure. Because when you see a cat die in a movie, you laugh. But when you see a dog die, you, you cry. <laughs> Couldn't believe I said that. Yeah, so I, I don't know. I just try and do my own thing and people like it. Like, that's cool. But if they don't, then like, fucking whatever, really. Do a test. What's your name? Oscar. Oscar who? Langburn. <laughs> How old are you now? 18. Shit. You drinking piss yet? Pardon me? You drinking beers yet? Nah, mate. 